This question is from Amanda mm -hmm. and she asks, what does God feel about us or for us when we are afraid? Feel about us and for us. Well, first we start, God does not feel anything for us aside from love and, and compassion and kindness and mm -hmm. all those kind of things. God doesn't feel for us in the sense of, in the implication of feeling for, feeling our emotions with us. Yeah. So, so I'm sure Amanda knows that anyway. Mm -hmm. but, um, but God does feel lots of loving emotions for us all the time, whether we're in fear or not. Yeah. There's always just loving emotions that God feels for us. So, so when we feel fear, God feels compassion for us. Mm -hmm. God, of course, knows that we don't need to feel it. Mm. God knows that fear is a, a, a figment of our or our environment's creation. It's not reality from God's perspective. It's just an emotion we have to go through. So from God's perspective, God doesn't have any negative feelings about us when, it, when we feel fear. Mm -hmm. But God knows that when we're afraid, we'll often break God's laws. Yeah. We'll often break the principles of the universe. And so God is always trying to help us deal with fear. Mm. And that's why there's a lot of usually fear-based events that happen in the average person's life yeah. because they're attracting fear-based events in order for them to work through the emotions of fear from their childhood and let them all go so that they can have a good life and mm -hmm. a happy life. So God's always trying to help people go through fear, but God doesn't want to punish us for our fear. The laws themselves correct our fear. Yeah. They, they, every time we act in harmony with fear, we automatically have a consequence that occurs as a result of our fear that, that impacts upon our soul and, and also often if we've acted in harmony with fear with other people, then upon their souls too. So God knows that it's a sad situation when we honour our fear for us, mm -hmm. but it's not for God. No. So <laughs> God, God's, uh, God's okay with us using our free will to choose to live in our fear rather than not. Mm -hmm. Of course, God knows too that we could choose differently, yeah. that we could choose to no longer live in our fear and no longer honour it as God and trust God, trust the emotional process, trust and have faith in God's love. And so God, God knows that we could choose that. Mm. And God often observes us not choose that. Yeah. God often sees that we choose exactly the opposite of that. And every time we do, God knows that uh, there's just going to be a longer time before we're happy. Mm -hmm. And God has compassion for us choosing unhappiness, but God also knows that there's no reason to choose unhappiness. Yeah. So, yeah. What I notice a lot uh, on earth, especially in relation to fear, is that people often confuse commiseration for compassion. Mm -hmm. And commiseration to me is a feeling that if I feel commiseration with you, um, that... If I feel sad, you'll feel sad I'll with feel me. I'll feel sad with you. And also there's an inherent feeling like, it is too hard and it, like with fear, yes, fear is hard, this commiseration. Yeah, and, and God doesn't feel that at all. <laughs> yes, God feels compassion, which is actually far more challenging of the error-based state, isn't it? Correct. Um, but a lot of people feel that that's not compassion because no. they usually associate commiseration with, with compassion. compassion. Yes, and God doesn't commiserate with our fear. God's not agreeing with it. Mm. God doesn't think, well, no, you should hold on to your fear It forever. is a bit too hard for you. It's too hard for yeah. you. Don't do it. Yeah. God doesn't ever feel any of those things. God wants us to feel our fear yeah. because if we feel our fear, we'll work through it. If we don't feel our fear, we'll live in it. And mm. if we live in it, we're going to do all sorts of things that are out of harmony with God's love. We're going to have more pain in our soul as a result. We're going to create more pain on the earth when we don't live in our fear. So God knows that the best thing for us to do is to work through our fear. That's why a lot of God's laws are always trying to correct our fear and bringing us fear-based events, all the things we're afraid of, so that we can work through the fear itself. So God's trying to lovingly help us through the process of addressing our fears. So God doesn't have any negative feelings, though, about it. So God doesn't want to punish us because we've had fear. God knows the cause of our fear often is not just the results of our own choices, but the results perpetrated towards us from other people's choices. I see. So God, God knows that other people have chosen to do things that often cause a lot of our fear as well. And God also knows that while we feel fear, we can't feel much love. Mm -hmm. And so God wants us to let go of the fear so that we can feel God's love and also feel each other's love. Mm. You can't have even a relationship with another person while you're afraid of that person. 
So God has a great confidence in us as well. Well, of course, that we can God, God deal is supremely with confident about our ability to deal with our fear because God created us to deal with it. So, yeah, yeah. you know, when, when, when you've created a perfect creation, you don't, you, don't get, you don't get all worried going, oh, I don't know if they're going to be able to do it. I don't know if they'll be able to, you know, God knows that we're going to be able to do it and that it's just a choice, yeah. a choice that we may at the moment be unwilling to make, but at some point in our future we are going to need to make if we're ever going to be happy. Mm. So God doesn't worry about it because no. God knows that God created a perfect soul. God knows your ability to deal with anything that's happened to you. God created you with the ability to deal with anything that's happened to you. That's the remarkable part about the human soul. We, no matter how bad we've been treated throughout our life and how long and extended that treatment has been, God knows that we can heal from such treatment. Mm. And God knows that with God's help, we can go through anything. And not just go through it, but heal from it. Mm -hmm. See, what I, what I see a lot in religious uh, life today on earth, a lot of people do believe God helps you go through things, mm -hmm. but they don't believe that, that, God, that you can be healed from going through those things. Yes, that's true. And God knows that you can be healed as long as you follow the way. Mm -hmm. You can be healed from every single injury you carry, including all of those injuries towards God, mm. if you follow the way. Mm. Mm. So God's got a lot of confidence in his own creation, <laughs> as, <laughs> God, as a perfect creator would have. Yes, yeah. and sometimes I like to think about that in terms of, because God's opinion of my capacity to deal with fear is often very different to my own. Yes, um, yes. And, and God knows that your capacity is much greater than what you currently believe it to be. Yeah, you know, that's the reality too. God know, created our soul to have this ability to have an infinite capacity eventually. And w as we receive more and more God's love, we're approaching this infinite capacity that God created our soul to have as a potential. Mm. So God knows that we've got the ability to deal with any emotion. And, and so do literally millions of celestial spirits know the same thing. They know that you can deal with emotion because they've done it. Mm -hmm. They've gone through all of their negative emotional experiences. They've processed through all of their fear. They no longer have any fear inside of their soul. They've done it. They know that it's possible. And often they're trying to encourage you that it's possible, but every time we come up to that wall of fear, we go, ah, and, and run <laughs> away. And even if, like I said in a, previous, in a previous answer, if we just sat in front of our fear and just felt it for a while, feel what it's all about and feel the false beliefs associated with it, mm -hmm. we'd get through it. Mm -hmm. But the majority of people don't do that. They come up to their fear. As soon as they come up to their fear, they hit their fear. And once they've hit their fear, the first thing they wish to do is just run off and run away. Mm. And that is the main problem with most people who discover the way to God. They discover the way, they follow it for a little bit, until they hit their fear and then they want to give it up straight away. Mm. And uh, that's not a person who has a very strong desire to become at one with God. You know, when you have a really strong desire to become at one with God, you're willing to go through any of your emotions to do so. Yeah. And if that means going through fear and terror that you've got in you anyway, that needs to be out of you anyway if you're ever going to be happy, then you decide to go through it mm -hmm. rather than run away. Mm. So... So God knows all of those things and God's pretty relaxed with our feelings of fear. But God also knows that every time we choose to live in harmony with our fear, we are choosing to walk away from truth. We are talking, choosing to walk away from love. And, and of course, all we're choosing is more pain for ourselves. Mm. And God knows that. So, so the beauty of having complete knowledge of the human soul and being the creator of it is God has nothing to fear. <laughs> 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 about the capacity that he designed in our soul. Yeah. Mm. yeah. He knows that we can deal with all of those things. It's just we ourselves that do not know. Mm. And it's just we ourselves that need to address why we're willing to imbibe and retain false beliefs that are the main thing that governs our fear. Remember, fear is the false beliefs appearing real to us. So every time we come up to this wall of fear, we're not seeing, initially we're not seeing, that actually this entire wall is all about the construction of false beliefs, yeah. emotional, that are emotional within us, that we think are real and true. Mm -hmm. And they're all false. 
All right? From ghost perspective, they're all false. From ghost perspective, it doesn't really exist. This fear doesn't really exist. He knows that it, it exists as an emotion, as a human creation. Yeah. But God never created fear. Yeah. Yeah. And and any person who becomes at one with God lives in a state where they completely fearless. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Mm. Thank you.